Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Thank you for tuning in to another video. I know it's been a while since I last uploaded on YouTube, but that's changing today. I got a bunch of info, a bunch of updates to update you guys on in this intro, so let's get right into it. Number one, my girlfriend and I just moved down to Florida for like a month and a half to two months. Not a permanent move, but that's why I'm going to be uploading so much. Down here in Florida, I got nothing else to do. Nothing else to do, so let's let, let's pound it out. Update number two is the reason as to why today's video is an eight iron only challenge. That is because six days ago, I was being an idiot, I was doing something stupid, and I jacked up my right thumb. I did something to my right thumb where it bent back and almost touched my forearm. Can't show you because it's holding the camera right now. But yeah, that's why we're doing the eight iron only challenge. Uh, what's the third update? Third update, oh yeah, third update. I came down here solely to create content and record golf videos and I forgot all my golf clothes up in Chicago. Thankfully, my dad and I are about the same size so I was able to throw some together with some of his old clothes down here. And uh, fourth and final update is that I am out here at Rotunda Golf and Country Club in Rotunda, West Florida, I believe. I haven't played the course yet, but the reason it's an update is because most of my videos are going to be recorded here, if not all of them. Uh, the reason being is I shot out DMs to a bunch of courses. The head pro here responded to me, and he's a super dope guy. I told him, like, hey, like, I'm looking for a place where I can come record content, I can come do challenge videos, are you guys about that? And he said, yeah, of course, let us know what we can do to accommodate you and make your job and make you creating content as easy as possible. And that's why I'm out here. Course looks dope. I'm super stoked to play it. We're gonna get some dope drone footage. Eight iron only challenge, because I jacked up my thumb. Let's get to it. You ain't know you're dealing with a monster. Let her go cause she a prima donna. Sweating me like she be in a sauna. Tryna bend her down in Tijuana. Stat of money taller than the plaza. Got a lot of drip with no water. I'm on shotgun with no soda. She know them problems coming with the Prada. I just down most so I'm up now. Can't afford a drop so she bust round. All right, so we're starting out here on hole 10, and there's a 190-yard carry into a dead wind, dead headwind, and this is not the way you want to start. 190-yard carry straight into the wind with an 8-iron. Look at this. Since it's a pretty stiff wind, I'm just going to try and play up the tee boxes and use the tee boxes as a fairway so I, don't gotta, I ain't got to deal with the water. Let's get to it. All right, I think we got away with that. No warm up. Swing felt hideous. I'm sure it looked hideous. I'll see you when I'm recording this, or I mean editing this, how it looked. But yeah, I think we're in play. We played it right down the middle, used the tee boxes as a fairway. I'm just really, I'm just trying to, playing from the tips today, playing from the tips, eight iron only. I'm trying to get out of here, break a 40, and I'll be a happy camper. No putter either, just eight iron, every shot. Let's go. All right, shot two here. We got 137 to the pin. As you can see, we made it past the water. So that was about a 193, 194 eight iron into a stiff wind. I'll take it. Pin is right up there. <laughs> I, I, I don't know the last time I've, I've played an eight iron from 137. So I'm excited for this. Let's see how it goes. Settle. Settle. All right, found the right side of the green. We're putting for birdie. Never mind. We actually just scooted off there, which is fine, because probably chipping this with an eight iron, a with an eight iron from this far, it might be might be easier than putting it with an eight iron. I guess I guess we'll find out. Settle, settle. All right. Boom. Wow. Okay. Par on the first. I was not expecting that. I will take it. A little surprise. Nice surprise. But yeah, chipping, I don't know. I haven't chipped with an 8-iron for like probably since I was like 10 years old when I first started golfing and it worked well there. But like that's a that's a beautiful thing about today. I'm probably going to learn certain things I never would have even thought of trying to play with just an 8-iron. So I'm super excited for that. The learning process of this and Putting with it went pretty well. I'll take it. All right, hole number two here is 158 yards, a little uphill, wind out of the left. I think I'm gonna try and try and draw in uh, 
little punch aid, not punch aid iron, but a little chip shot, easy swing aid iron. Hold it up against this wind and yeah, I guess we'll see how that goes. Well, that could be perfect. Oh, it just hit in and stopped. That was so nice. People, look at the line this thing was on. It was drawing in there so nicely up against the wind. Look at this. It was heading directly at the pin. <laughs> I thought for a second, you know, what a way to make your first hole in one in a eight iron only challenge on a 158 yard hole. 158 yard hole hitting your 210 club. That'd be, that'd be quite the story. But yeah, two putts for par, head on to the next hole. Tiger or something. Nah. <laughs> that was stupid. Alright. Sneak it in the side. Wow. I am I am quite glad I'm doing this challenge because I completely forgot the efficiency of the eight iron bump and run slash chip, whatever you guys want to call it in your lingo. But yeah, everything happens for a reason. I was supposed to hurt my thumb, so I would do this eight iron challenge and learn the power of the eight iron bump and run again. That's how I'm gonna look at it in my head. Pull the good out of everything. Look on the bright side. Anyways, we got a par five here. How far is it? Five, 500 yard par five here. Eight iron only. See if we can get home in, should get home in three. Let's get to it. Oh. Finally, that was my first pure feeling shot of the day. First full swing pure shot of the day. I'll take it. We're right down the middle of the fairway. Got a good look. Not a good look at the green. 500 yards, two eight irons. There ain't no way. Hit a nice little layup. Leave us a... Uh, try and leave us... I, want, I would like a 45 to like 50 yard little bump and run up to the green. Get a good look at birdie. That's flirting with the water. All right, so we most definitely brought the water more into play than I had uh, wanted to. Here's my ball, there's the water. We've got 80 yards left. 500 yard hole, eight iron, eight iron, 80 yards. I'll take it. Let's see if we can get up and down for birdie. Go, go. Look at this, we had this whole backstop to work with on this two-tiered green here, and I decide to leave it short. Sit, sit. All right, just a, just a little more oomph. <laughs> and I would have had that. Would have been even par through three, but nah. Bogeyed that par five right there. It was in perfect position to make maybe a birdie, but should have made a par, but yeah. Made a bogey. One over through three, onto the fourth hole. We have a par four here. A short one, too. 333 yards. Let's get, let's, let, let's get hot on this one. Let's go. Oh, the wind. We've got 170 to the pin, and look at this trouble. There's a tree. And I'm sure as you can see, there's the pin way back there, that white thing flickering around. I think, I think, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna have to try my best to hold a fade right around it. Pull out a little Bubba Watson action, but I'm not the best at hitting fades. I have, I have no clue where that went. It didn't start out left and fade like I had hoped. It, it went straight and somehow find its way right, found its way right through the tree. So let's go find it. <laughs> I, I, I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. That was, this is definitely one of the luckiest shots I've ever hit. <laughs> Look at where this ended up. Four foot for birdie. <laughs> hey, you know what they say? Sometimes I'd rather be, how does it go? I'd rather be lucky than good. I don't know why that one took me so long to get out. But yeah, birdie putt, let's go. 
Wow. Walking out of there with a birdie after that uh, predicament. <laughs> I was not expecting that, but strange things happen. I'll take it though. That brings us back down to even par through four. Now we're on to a par three here. Got 179 yards. Same exact direction as the last hole. Got that big headwind out of the right. It'll just be a pretty choke down, full swing, uh, eight iron, maybe a little off it. Living dangerous on that one. We caught that one a bit thin. Barely made it over. Barely made it over. And now we got back onto the bump and run game, which has been pretty solid today. Release. Wow. This chip is pure. If I was playing just a regular round of golf, 100% of the time, every shot from down there, would have been my 56 or 60 degree, which is tough because then you got to carry it, you got to land it right, tight lie, catch it thin, catch it chunky. But <laughs> this this bump and run eight iron is working magic for me today. Let's go. <laughs> that almost didn't fall. All right, even par through five with the trusty eight iron. Now we're on to, well, hole 15, our sixth hole of the day. We got a par four, 441 yards, dead into the wind. This is going to be a tough one. Getting home in two, I don't think is going to happen. Two eight irons, 220 yards, dead into the wind, no way. But going to have to scramble on this one. Hopefully make another par, maybe, maybe, by the skin of my teeth, pull out another birdie. Let's go. Really short, but not wet. Wow, okay, this is a long hole. We have a really poorly hit eight iron and a pretty well struck eight iron, and we've still got 78 yards to the pin, up and down for uh, par to keep us at even par for the round. And uh, yeah, let's let's get to it. I chunked that a little, but we had the right idea. Came up just short. Not a bad shot. I'll take it. Right there to there. That's what we got left to try and salvage a par on this hole. Sit. Sit. Come back down. All right. Walking out of there with a bogey. That puts us at a... One over through six. Now we're finally shifting a whole direction. So we got the wind at our back now. Coming up to hole 16, our seventh hole. Got a par five, 521 yards. Let's see if we can get that bogey back here. Let's go. We got away with one there because it was a long carry to carry these waters. And we ended up right here in this slim little fairway but yeah luckily for us the hole takes a big dog leg right so we're just gonna go right over that tree there should be perfect damn i thought that shot was perfect i didn't know there was water right here on this side of the fairway ended up going through the fairway so now we're gonna have to take a drop i think we got probably like only 60 yards to the pin now what are we hitting one two our fourth shot so up and down for a par Settle. all right that little 60 65 yard bump and run actually came out pretty well ended up right there there's the pin with the water penalty going in the hazard gonna have to sink it to make par and stay at one over back-to-back -back bogeys really hurts that puts us at two over for the day we got two holes left to play you never know what can happen birdie birdie finish out even par 
But yeah, still, like I said earlier, the goal today, playing with just an 8-iron, was to break 40. And right now we're on track for that, so let's see how these last two go. I hit the cart path. I think that drive, that 8-iron caught the cart path. I looked like it did but it would have helped, helped us out anyways. It is a 400 yard hole, eight iron only, dead into the wind, a little out of the right. So it's a long hole today. And we've got a little more tree trouble here. Check this out. There's the ball, there's the tree. Green is right back there beyond that hill. Go, go. That could be nice. As I was driving up to the green, I noticed there's water right in front of the green. I am glad I did not know about that while I was hitting the shot. You know, sometimes, sometimes ignorance is bliss. Anyways, shot turned out pretty good. Right there, there's the pin. Gonna go with the, the trusty eight iron bump and run. Let's go. Mm, sit. I really wanted to drop that one for birdie, get back to one over. That's why I was so aggressive with it. Now we got, it looks like, eight footer for par. That hurts. Back to back to back bogeys. Ooh, that hurts. That, that's making us work now to break 40. We got to par this one to shoot 39. And... Damn, that one hurt. I thought that putt was dropping. Felt good off the blade of the eight iron. But yeah, of course, now to finish up, we have a beast of a par four. If you're playing with just an eight iron, par four, 18th hole, 415 yards. Luckily, it feels like the wind's helping a little out of the left. So let's pull something off, folks. Let's clutch up. Almost lost that club at impact. My hands are sweaty down here. It's nice and humid in Florida. Almost lost it. Maybe I should start wearing a glove. I don't like wearing a glove though. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. Shot ended up okay. We got 185 left into the pin. Wind helping out the left center of the fairway. I think I'm gonna hit a knock down eight iron fade that just rides that wind. That's how I see it in my head. <laughs> Let's see what my body does. Wow, first time playing this course, was not paying attention. I just played to the wrong green, but I went back and shot the yardages. That was the green I was supposed to be playing to, but I decided to play to this green, and my shot found this green, and you know what, I'm the kind of guy, I go with the flow. We were playing to this green, let's just roll with this green. Two putts to shoot a 39, I guess it counts. <laughs> I cannot believe I just did that. Played to the wrong green. It's a dope hole playing to this green. I like it. It's a dope hole that way too. I'll take it. I'll count that as a par four. If y'all if y'all let me count it, that's a 39, eight iron only playing from the tips. This is a fun track. I like it. You'll definitely be seeing a lot more videos of me out here. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Thank you guys for all the love. I really appreciate it. Peace. You ain't know you're dealing with a monster.